After we insert the table in the document, we may want to set the table. So how are we going to do that? Take the table in this document as an example. The width of the table is too long. If we need to adjust it, just click the cross cursor in the upper left corner of the table. Select the entire table, click the Table Tools tab, and click the Table Properties button. Now we can see a dialog box has popped up. In the Table tab, we can enter an appropriate value in size to adjust the specified width of the table, and click the OK button to apply it to the table. If we want to adjust the cell margins or spacing in the table, we can click the Options button in the lower right corner of the Table Properties dialog box. Then the Table Options dialog box will pop up. We can set the cell margin on the top and set the cell spacing below. By checking Automatically Resize, WPS Writer will automatically adjust the cell margins of the table according to the text in the table. This is a very intelligent feature. The Positioning button is used for precisely adjusting the position of the table in the document. Usually, we will manually adjust it to the required position. Generally, a table inserted in a document is left aligned by default. If we want to perfect the overall layout, we can select Center in the alignment of the Table Properties dialog box. After text wrapping is set to Around, it changes the position of the table in the document flexibly. If we also want to set the border and shading of the table, click the Borders and Shading button at the bottom of the Table Properties dialog box. Then a dialog box will pop up. We can adjust the line type and color of the table border in the Borders tab. In the Shading tab, we can also fill the shading of the table with colors or patterns. We can adjust all the settings according to our personal preferences or needs.